Dear students, you are welcome in the education department at Shahid Association. Our lesson today is a classification of substances. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. In this lesson, we have four objectives. We will define pure substances. We will define mixtures. We will list mixture properties. And finally, we will list the properties of metals and non-metals. As we saw in the Explore section, that the balls can be classified by two different ways. That's how matter is also classified in real life. What's matter? Matter is anything that takes up space. It has a volume and it has a mass. Rocks is a type of matter. Also wood as an example of matter. How is matter classified? One way scientists classified matter is according to its composition. So matter is classified into two things, pure substances and also mixtures. Let's take the first part, which is the pure substances. As a definition, pure substances are the substances that are made up of one kind of particles. Pure substances is classified into two things, the elements and the compounds. The elements in the pure substances are made up of one type of atom. These elements can be separated by physical or chemical means. An example for the element is the copper or the gold. The second part in pure substances are the compounds. Compounds are pure elements that are made up of two or more atoms of different elements that are bonded together. Compounds can be only separated by chemical means. An example of a compound is the salt, which is sodium chloride, NaCl. A second example is the water which is consisting of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O. The second part of substances is called mixtures. A mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances that are not chemically bonded. In mixture, no chemical change exists. Each item retains its properties. Mixtures can be separated physically, for example by distillation or evaporation. An example of a mixture is the pizza or the mixture of water and oil. We have two different types of mixtures. The first one is called the homogeneous mixture. In the homogeneous mixture, two miscible substances create one phase. So for example, the lemon juice or water and salt. When they combine, they form one phase. The second part is called the heterogeneous mixture. Two or more immiscible substances, they create two or more phases. For example, the pizza and the water and oil. Pure substances can be either metals or non-metals. Let's take the properties of the metals. They are good conductors of electricity. They are good conductors of heat. They have high melting and boiling points, as you can see in the table. They also have high density. We will move now to the non-metals. Non-metals 
they are poor conductors of electricity. They are also poor conductors of heat. They have low melting and boiling points compared to the metals, as you can see in the table. Finally, they have low density. This is the end of our chemistry lesson today. If you have any questions in the worksheet, do not hesitate to contact me. In this lesson, we took the definition of pure substances, we list the types of pure substances, we also defined mixtures and we listed its types, and finally, we listed the properties of metals and nonmetals. Thanks for watching. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all updates.